Zuma Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at a press conference with a Brentwood show this Saturday. With me is another Umar, Umar Sadiq. Uh, a fiery press conference, Umar. Um, I wouldn't call it fiery. I thought that was quite cool. Um, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was casual. Uh, in terms of Zach Telly Senior, um, he was getting quite heated, would you not say that? Um, yeah, I mean, evidently it's not very hard to press his buttons. All I'd ask is if he would recognise me as the best super midway in Great Britain if I beat his son, because he always calls his son that. Um, that sparked some sort of, um, sparked an earful for everyone. But it was a good earful, I think. What do you reckon? Because um, I, I felt like when he was speaking, I was like, yeah, keep going, selling the fight brilliantly. I mean, he spoke very well of his he son. He it made me like your son. You know what I mean? Well, not that I dislike him anyway, but you get what I mean. So um, I think it was fantastic to get him to speak. And, you know, Saturday night, I hope viewers tune in to watch how the fight goes. Um, we had a coin toss there. See, the home fight was Nathan Gorman flipped it. Yeah. He's the home fight. Does that affect you in any ways? No. At the end of the day, so long as my changing room is nice and big enough, I'm all right. And um, when the fight's done, people only remember who won. Okay. You feel that will be you, yeah. obviously. Um, we saw that video of you going around Westfields. I know Coogan spoke to you about it, but yeah. I just want to touch upon that again. Like, yeah, the reason behind that, really. Um, it's just I like to have I like to have fun. I like to be different. I like to be engaging. Um, when the fight was announced, I thought of well myself and my team. We thought what would be some good ways to draw some attention to this fight, and um, that was just an idea that we had. Um, and it turns out. You know, obviously the final product was well received, so that was good. And again, for viewers who haven't seen the video, it's basically me going around asking strangers on my phone, showing highlight reels of Zach actually knocking people over and asking if they'll fight him, if they rate him, and if they think I'm crazy for fighting him. So it was a good little social experiment. Um, again, was successful, and I'm pleased we did it. Yeah, what was the feedback like? Like I said, it was good. A lot of people loved it. Um, you had a lot of uh, media outlets saying, you know, this is brilliant, it's original, it's a breath of fresh air. And it, it's good to be spoken of in those terms. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to doing the same thing in the ring on Saturday, you know, a dominant display um, of, of class boxing and just making the viewers at home and in the venue just think, wow, like, that was a brilliant fight. Break it down for me. How does it go, you and Zach Kelly? It goes by me dominating him. Um, there's nothing I see him being able to do that I'm unable to deal with. Um, I think he knows that deep down, to be fair. Um, his team are pushing him in the fight, and as, as a fighter, he's going to be confident in beating anyone, even with the smallest glimmer of hope. But I think deep down, he knows that he's in for a tough ass. Do you see this as a, as a big fight for you or a stepping stone? Oh, it's a massive fight. It's the yep. biggest fight of my career so far. So, of course, it's a big fight. Um, there's plenty to learn from this. From you know, he's the first live opponent I'm facing in two weeks, um, two years. Sorry. Um, so my last, the last time I was fighting someone who's a respectable champion with a winning record was in the Olympic qualifiers in 2016. Um, you know, my, so far my career I've been boxing people who have accepted losing before coming in. Now I'm have to, I've had to prepare mentally to face someone who's coming in genuinely to win, to hurt me, and he's in with a good chance because a 50-50 fight on paper. Um, so, you know, I'm relishing it. This is what boxing is about for me. Testing the skills up against someone else who you believe is a viable foe. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited for it. This is what boxing is about for me. I've, you know, it, it gets me excited. It gets my blood flowing, my adrenaline going. And um, behind all the, all the all the media things that I do and the laughs and, you know, and the press table, I'm making <laughs> jokes and stuff. I mean, you got. We are entertainers. We have to entertain. But I do mean business. And when I get in the ring, it's going to be all business. And I'm expecting a nice top fight. Okay. Yeah. I asked that question because when I spoke to Zach a few weeks ago, he said that you're just a stepping stone. He doesn't see it as a big fight. Um, I think he's just trying to say what he thinks you want to hear. Um, I think he's just trying to say what he's seen other people say. Um, but deep down, I, I know he knows that I'm a big step and a big um, challenge for him, for, for him and for his career. Okay. All right, Umar Sadiq, best of luck on Saturday. Anything you want to add on IFA? The only thing I'd add, guys, if you're local, tune in. Um, if you're local, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not local, tune in. BT Sport, ESPN in America. Mm. Um, don't forget that, because we lively. Frank's making moves. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be a good show. <laughs> undefeated versus undefeated. Both had less than five fights each. I mean, you know, for what we're doing, massive respect. And just tune in and do, give the fight the justice it deserves. All right, Umar Ahmed with Umar Sadiq signing out. Top boxer Sadiq. <laughs>